Hey, what's up people? This is Adam. Just a quick tutorial today on how to make a, a quick DNA strain in After Effects. Something I had to do for a project once and I didn't know how to do it and then I came up with this solution. Which is super simple and uh, we're already in After Effects. So just go ahead and make a new comp. 24 frames a second, 23, 9, 7, 6. Doesn't really matter. Uh, really all we need here is just a, uh, we need a solid layer. Doesn't matter what color it is. Let's just make it white for the sake of DNA probably being white today anyways draw mask duplicate it pull it down like this these are the bases of your DNA strain then we're gonna make the middle sections like so duplicate that move over duplicate move duplicate Move, duplicate, move. I don't know how long you want it, but that should be plenty. Okay, once you have this, it looks like a railroad railroad track. Um, really, all we need is um, the effect called. Hang on. CC ball action, you can find it in your, um, you can search for it, you can just go up here and grab it. It transfers all, transforms all the, transform your solid layer into a lot of little spheres that live in a fake 3D space. So this is not really 3D, but it looks like 3D. So it doesn't work like the new particular does where it's really 3D that works with a 3D camera. But I mean, for what it is and how fast this is to do, it, it looks pretty, pretty good, I think. Um, can shatter, scatter them a little bit there. Here we flip the. Um, you can see the rotation axis of the uh, of the of the strain. You can see that actually, there's actually some some thickness to it now that we've converted the the thing into to little balls. Um, here we make them smaller. Flip it around. We already have something that looks sort of like a DNA strain. Here we um, we can like animate them a little bit if you want. Set a keyframe frame one, jump ahead a little bit in the timeline. Set another keyframe. You can do the same thing for the rotation. Go to frame one, set a keyframe, jump to the end of the timeline. Set another keyframe. Um, oops, scatter account probably want to keep. Oops, the amount of little little spheres. Like that. Then we can we can duplicate it if we want to get a little bit more. density but now we have this which might be a little crazy with all the extra ones but For a one minute DNA string, string, this looks pretty cool, I think. All right, try it out, let me know what you think, and visit my website at adamoe.com or follow me on Twitter at Twitter.